I mean, Muhammad is my name. I'm the manager of National Children's Park in Abuja. You are welcome. Abuja Zoological Park is located in Asokoro district of Abuja, just behind the presidential villa and close to the towering Asu Rock, formerly known as Treasure Island. Abuja Zoological Park is a wildlife park that boasts of a variety of exotic animals and has a toddler's lane, which is a playing area for kids. Zoos were made to bring wildlife closer to humans. It gave humans a better and closer view of them. This allows various researchers and scientists to note the behavioral pattern of the animals. It helps them in their studies and discover new things. In addition, zoos are a great source of entertainment for kids. They love visiting zoo and interacting with animals. This helps them learn practical knowledge about the animal. On our tour of the park, we saw animals like crocodiles, the African buffalo, and a rabbit cage with two different species. Moving on, we saw hyenas. In other enclosures, we were frightened at the roar of the lions. At the same time, it was awesome to see the king of the jungle. Not very far from the ostrich. Crossing over to the other side of the park, we saw a giant tortoise The python was the last animal we saw But before that, on our way, we had stopped to see the donkeys and horses in other enclosures just by a group of monkey cage that had the Pater's monkey, also known as the Wadi monkey or Hausa monkey. This is a ground-dwelling monkey distributed over semi-arid areas of West Africa and into East Africa. They could virtually eat anything and sugarcane was hot on your list. The parrot was an interesting bird to see and was actually repeating sounds from our conversations when we least expected it. The parrot repeated one or two sentences to our astonishment. Lastly, there was a group of swan and the black crowned swan. Just beautiful with that lovely crown on its head. Well, not enough to make a full-fledged zoo, but definitely adequate enough to pique my interest and your interest, I hope. After meandering through the mini zoo, you will probably be tired. So the Lake Cafe should be your next point of call. This is where guests can enjoy drinks and various snacks. One of the beauties of the location of the Lake Cafe is the view of the Asu Rock. This makes the perfect backdrop for exclusive pictures. A children's park would be incomplete without a playground and there was one quite close to the cafe. So from picnics to parties, retreats, family day out and more can be done here. Social gatherings, events, and even wedding receptions can be done right here with a great view just in sight. We spent five hours in the zoo. We took a full round of it and enjoyed ourselves a lot. We were happy to see all those animals with our own eyes, about which we have read in books before now. The memory of the visit still fills us with thrill and excitement at experiencing Ninja.
But the park was officially opened in the year 2001. By the then president, former president, that's uh, Chief Olishegum Wabasanjo, GS, GCFR, with the aim of providing recreation for the surrounding people of Abuja, an education center for academic institutions, a research avenue also for academic institutions, and also a revenue base for sustenance of the park. Because we are running the park as a self-sustaining organization where we don't receive a single cover from the government to run it under a presidential committee. What we have here, we have a zoo and a children's, children's park. The children's park is where we have the children's playground with facilities which are friendly, such as swings, merry-go-round, space net, and others which children can play with. Well, like I told you, we are an sustainable plan. So we welcome each and everybody to come and, you know, bring his own, either, you know, bring his own ideas, be it just idea, or even if they can, you know, we can give them a specific project to carry out, we can. Like now we have a lot of visitors to but we don't have educational resource center. And we need that one in place. An educational resource center is supposed to be a very big place with a very big hall where children will be seated with audiovisual so that you can have a formal clients, kind of. After going around, they will just be seated, you know, you use slide projectors to at least give them formal class on certain areas, such as, you know, how to about desertification, how to stop global warming, eh? why we should conserve plants, animals for their own uses. If we are to employ what we, more than what we have now, definitely we'll run into trouble. And for us to have more people, then we have to bring in more animals, more activities, so that we get more visitors at the gate. Because we use the revenue from the gate to pay our staff salaries, feeding cost of our animals, our running cost. Like now we have problem, you know, with our system. You know, you know our irrigation system. We are just trying to fix it. You know. Otherwise, we water our grasses every day. We need money, but we need to expand proportionately, so that as we have more animals, then we bring in more, more staff at least to take care, because we have limited financing. That's why we have more you know, uh, staffing.